So today I'm going to be working on the mirror in the hallway, this one. So this is the mirror. I bought this I think about eight years ago. You've seen me feature it on Instagram and things like that loads and loads of times. I love it, but the thing is, is that with everything else, the way the stairs are painted, even things like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just the kind of sideboard that we have by the entrance and everything else, it just kind of doesn't match. I like that there's gold, but there's too much gold, I think. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint it white, but then what I'm also going to do is it has all this beautiful detailing around the edges and in the middle, and I don't want to lose that. I do want some of the gold to still show up, but just not so much gold. And also another problem is I can't get paint right now, and I don't... I could order it on Amazon, but we're at the end of the month, so we've kind of... All the budget has been accounted for, um, so I can't really get paint. And I thought, and also with lockdown, it's not like I can just pop down to Hobbycraft and get something. So I thought I would take this opportunity to just experiment with what I've got because there's a few different things that I have that I could use to age the detailing. I've got some brown ink, I've got coffee, and I have tea, all of which would work. And also, I've got some uh, pan pastels that would also work very, very nicely. So what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to experiment with all four and see which one works the best. Um, it is an experiment, but the way I see it is it's just a mirror. It's just a gold painted mirror. If I mess up, I just paint over it again. So there's, there's nothing lost. And if anything, you'll just learn either how to use something that you didn't think you could use that way or not to do that. <laughs> so one of the two. But anyway, that is going to be this morning's project. I'm just going to paint it white at first, get the whole thing covered, um, put, what's the word I'm looking for, painter's tape over the mirror as well. As it is, I really need to clean this mirror as well. So this will, this will force me to paint the whole thing and then clean the glass so that it stops looking so utterly grimy. But that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to see if I can paint this mirror using what I have in the house. So a combination of ink, coffee, tea, and maybe some pattern pastels, but Let's see which one works the best. Once I'd put a layer of paint over it, I went over with my fingers to lift the paint. In a few places I wasn't fast enough and it dried, so I had to go over with a fine sandpaper, but for the most part, just using my fingers did the trick.
these are the two colours I've got. This one is a little too red and that one should be just about the right colour. At this point in the project I decided to try and lift the paint where I hadn't been able to remove it fast enough for the paint to dry as much as I really really like this paint. It does dry very very quickly and in this case that was a little bit of a problem so I had to go over with a fine sandpaper. You don't really want to use something with a very harsh grit because you'll just shred everything. And then I tried my idea of using a mixture of coffee and tea and it failed miserably. So I wiped it all off and then switched back to the idea of either using pan pastels or ink. I thought I wanted to try out the ink idea so I got some ink, a spray bottle and then a little, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of paint syringe. The ink pot on this thing always jams so I have to use that elastic band trick where you wrap the elastic band around the lid and then you can use that to get a bit of a better grip on it and eventually crack the thing open. I can't wait till I finished using up this ink so I never have to use it again. The bottle always jams. I put a few drops of that in some water, just checked that I was happy with how much ink was in there and then sprayed it over all the details. Once I'd left it for a few seconds and let all the ink settle into the crevices, I very lightly went over it with some tissue to remove all the excess. In some cases, I applied a little bit too much water and ink and it had a bit of a tendency to drip, so I didn't want that to happen. I removed all the excess and left everything else how it was and I was very happy with how this turned out. I still used a pan pastel technique for some of them, but overall I think the mixture of the two using the pan pastels and the inks and then going over later on with some white paint worked out really well and I was very very happy with it. Even though this project took me a lot longer than I'd originally planned, it was meant to only take about 40 minutes. I should have known better, instead it took the whole day, but I was very, very happy with how it turned out. And then the day after that, I thought I would also tackle one of the room dividers that we have. And when this arrived, it was covered in mold. It was really, really bad. And it took about two days of really scrubbing at it to get all the mold off. 
And then after that I thought I would paint it as well because it just kind of blended in with the floorboards and I wanted to make it look like it was part of the room. All it needed was a tiny bit of paint and then it looked absolutely lovely. It didn't really justify having a video all on its own so I thought I would include it in the end here. I hope you like the video and I'll have a new one for you soon. If you like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.